Kate Shelley from Best Buy Canada's blog and this week I've been testing out the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. This is the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. This juicer, um, I just tested out the Breville Juice Fountain Cold. Um, this one's just slightly different from that. It's a little bit smaller. It has the same wide shoot um, for full fruits and vegetables. So that's a three inch shoot. It fits an entire apple at one time. Um, it holds uh, one liter of um, juice in the bucket and it has two speeds, high and low. So it fits together really easily. This is a locking arm. It's a safety locking arm actually, so it just, it's hard to do with one hand. It snaps into place. Um, so you never have to worry about your lid coming free when you're juicing. And all of the parts you see here, obviously, besides the 850 watt motor, are dishwasher safe, so it's really easy to clean up. You also get a included brush that comes with um, the Breville Juice Fountain Plus, and you can just scrape the excess off the um, internal disc, and it will uh, pop in the dishwasher after that. So the Breville Juice Fountain Plus um, is a cold juicer, and uh, there's a handy little guide on the back of the box that tells you um, what the starting temperature of your fruits and vegetables should be and what the finishing temperature is. Um, as you can see, it doesn't change that much just from the juicing. So if your apple starts at 73.4 Fahrenheit, it only ends um, at 75.2. So we're going to test out the um, Juice Fountain Plus. And just, um, I've got a apple, um, half a carrot and a beet, and I also have um, some spinach that I'm gonna feed through. So we're gonna turn it on low. See, it runs fairly quietly. And the first thing we'll do is start with an apple. And we'll take a look inside. So see, I've got my juice. I've got to swirl it together to get it to mix, but I'll let it drip for a second. So that pops off. Uh, look how clean that is. So there is residue um, on the inside of the container, but it is dishwasher safe, so um, you can just wipe that out and uh, you're good to go again. Let's take a look inside the container. It's pretty, it looks pretty dry. So you can see it's very dry, so it's extracted um, all of the juice and nutrients. So it's stopped dripping, and uh, I'll just give my juice a swirl. And because of the um, skim skimming bucket, there's no excess foam when you pour. So as I mentioned before, all you have to do is take the brush to this, um, just lift the debris a little bit, 
and all of these pieces will head straight into the dishwasher. So once you're done juicing, all that's left to do is take a drink. Mm, it's very cold. It tastes great. And uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, residue left in the fruits and vegetables. So I know that I've got the most amount of nutrients in my glass. So I found the Breville Juice Fountain Plus to be very easy to use. I like the extra wide chute um, that you can use to feed the fruits and vegetables. It means that there's very little prep work. Um, so you just throw them right in. I also like that uh, it leaves your uh, remnants almost virtually dry so that you know that you're getting the most amount of nutrients in your juice. Um, it juices very cold and it's easy to clean up because everything goes in the dishwasher. So, that, so that's it for my review of the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. You can see my full written review as well as other photos on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.